Back in the 1300s, the guilds were traders and traders had their trade within the city walls. It then became something that was passed down from father to son. In 1993, it was the first year that ladies were admitted as freemen. And my dad was the president at the time and my mum was the first lady to be made free in the city of Chester. Welcome everybody to St Peter's Church for our meeting. All of our family are very passionate about not just keeping the guilds alive, but keeping them more active and more involved in, in the city of Chester. How many companies do we have? We have 16 companies, President, who have agreed to uh, take part. That's fabulous. The association between ourselves and the college started 55 years ago, when the then President was a Mr Bill Dutton, who was a respected businessman within the city, and he was also a governor of what was in those days the College of Further Education. Now Bill brought to our Guild Council the idea that we should present an award to students who had excelled in the ancient crafts that are represented by the companies. We're very proud to present them to because it's showing the link between the ancient Guild companies and the youngsters of today. We don't want to just be people dressed like this. We want to be seen as human beings that are trying to make a difference to the community. To actually have the students invested in what the Freeman and Guilds could be in the future is really important. Mm -hmm.